Hi everyone, in today's video I'll be talking to you about how to grow long, naturally healthy nails. Most of us already know that our nails start growing back here under the cuticles. But what a lot of us don't know is that once it grows out where you can see the nail, it's already dead and there's nothing you can do to change its condition. You can do things like filing away chips and scrapes or adding oils to make it look smoother and nicer, but that's really just for looks. Real, true, actual change in your nail is going to come from behind the cuticles, which means it's going to come from inside your body. You can only change the actual makeup of your nail from the starting point where it begins to grow. So the first thing you should do is get yourself some good skin, hair, and nail vitamins with lots of biotin. Biotin is a huge helper of strong, healthy nails and hair, so you'll actually be doing your whole body a favor. Another thing you should take is some keratin. Your nails and your hair are both made out of a protein called keratin, so taking a keratin supplement will really help with their strength and their appearance. You should get in the habit of taking both of these supplements every day. And since the skin, hair, and nails vitamin has all these other vitamins in it as well, it counts as a good one a day in of itself. It might take a while to actually see the new condition of your nail because you're gonna have to wait until all the weak and damaged stuff has grown out. So it could take up to six months, sometimes even up to a year if your nails grow really slow. But in the end, it'll definitely be worth it. So now that we know how to take care of our nails from the inside out, let's talk about what you should not do. First off, there are a lot of videos going around the internet telling you that if you wanna grow your nails super fast in one day, soak them in a bowl of warm water water and oil. Please don't do that. Any kind of soaking is going to cause the layers of your nails to separate and that will cause peeling. I know this from personal experience because I tried this and as a result underneath my nail a while back, this was like two three months ago, it started to peel and come apart. So I stopped doing that and um, I let them grow out and now I don't have that problem anymore. So please, again, do not soak your nails in anything. If you're cleaning the house or doing the dishes, wear rubber gloves. Because you want to protect your nails from the dish detergents and the harsh chemicals of cleaners. Those are very damaging. So now we're going to talk about when you go to do nail art or paint your nails. This is a nail treatment. It's for splitting and chipped and cracked nails. It's number four from Nail Tech and it just sort of helps uh, protect your nails from further damage so you can grow them out better. Sometimes I use this as a base coat, but this is an actual base coat by Sesh. It's the clear base coat. So what you want to do is apply a base coat because that will protect your natural nails from any staining or damage from the polish. Polish is very harsh and if you use it a lot it can really damage your nails. And of course staining is a little unattractive so this will just help prevent all that. And you let this dry completely before you put any kind of paint on your nails. Now, especially if you're using black nail polish or any dark colors like a dark red, dark blue, especially green, I would strongly suggest your base coat of course, but then also put a layer of white nail polish under any dark or green, yellow or orange polishes because those really tend to stain and a layer of white will help counteract that. And after you're finished with your manicure, wait about 15 to 30 minutes to let it set enough to where it won't smudge when you apply your top coat. And then go ahead and apply your top coat. And I recommend a fast drying top coat because it penetrates the other layers of polish and helps everything dry a lot faster. And also top coat will protect your design, whatever your design is, even if it's just a regular coating of polish. It'll make it last a lot longer and protect it from chipping and peeling. And also it adds a a lot of strength to your nails. Okay, the tip I wanted to give you all is to stay moisturized. And I cannot stress this enough, honestly. If you do none of the other tips that I've offered you in this video, please definitely at least do this. Moisturizing your nails is going to be about 60 to 65 percent of your success. And when I first was told this, um, I was probably about 11 or 12 actually, and even up into my 20s and 30s now, I rolled my eyes about it and I thought, well, I think that's just something that people who 
love lotion like to say. I mean, I didn't really take it to heart. Logically, it made sense. It'll make them softer so they don't chip and break, you know, but I still just thought, ah, uh, you know, I don't really think that's the big thing. I think I just have thin, weak, brittle nails, and I have to accept that. But honestly, when I started, like, making myself apply moisture every day, everything changed. My nails quit breaking, and they started growing longer. So really, this is a big deal here. The thing is, I don't like uh, fruity or perfumey smells on my hands and a lot of lotions have a fragrance of some kind but a co-worker of mine introduced me to this Avino lotion and you can't smell anything at all so this is how I do it I just take a little bit of the lotion like this and then first I just apply it to my palms and then this is kind of weird but I'll actually scratch some of the lotion under my nails like that because especially if you're wearing polish because, you, you know, it's always good, if you have nothing on your nails, it's always good to rub some lotion on top of your nails and rub it into your cuticles really good so it can soak into the whole nail. But if you're wearing nail polish, doing this is not going to get any moisture into your nail because the polish is blocking it. So scratching it under your nails is the only way it's actually going to get into your nail. And then once you've got it under your nails, you'll see like this, you just go like this and sort of rub it around and get it dispersed more evenly and no it's not really gonna cause a lot of gross mess under your nails because it doesn't really do that with mine so and you know I work in retail so we touch a lot of things there and it doesn't happen to mine but just go ahead and make sure you rub it around and get it all rubbed in everywhere you can even if you're wearing polish you can go ahead and rub it into your cuticles because that will help keep them soft so you can push them back more easily. You want to do that two to three times a day and I'm telling you that will make a world of difference. You'll see a lot more strength, a lot more flexibility, they will chip and break less. And finally the last tip is your nails are not made out of steel so you know be nice to them. If you're gonna open up a soda pop can try to use something besides your nails or if you're gonna peel stickers or you know pick at something whatever or you know if you're doing this uh, trying to pop this lid open don't use your nail just do this with your thumb pop it open. But yeah just remember that they are not tools <laughs> and uh, take good care of them from the inside and the outside and you'll be able to grow some nice long healthy nails. I hope this helps and thank you for watching.